So the Vancouver Players Festival, Brooke and I have been uh, coming here for the last, I guess it would be our fifth year now. Um, and BC being the feature region, it's, I think it's a, it's a good time just right before the Olympics. And it showcases BC wines, which are on the worldwide stage, have been winning some pretty good medals. And we've been getting more and more sort of uh, attention to the area. So I think it's, uh, it'll be a really good festival starting tomorrow, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just add that, uh, yeah, I think it's yeah definitely about time that, that BC is the region. Um, I think more and more uh, Canada and BC for sure is getting known for their wines and, and not just ice wines. The, the more wines that we win on an international scale, we're definitely becoming recognised um, within the world. So it's just perfect timing that uh, BC is the region and we can really showcase the great wines that we are making here. Okay. You think it's uh, the timing is right or is it about time that the, that the Playhouse featured BC wines? I think the earlier wineries have always sort of said, well, it would be really nice to have this component. But I think the timing is right to have waited for this stretch where we have enough critical mass, enough diversity in styles that really bring, I think, our area to the forefront. So I don't think it's too early, but it's good and it's at the right time. And I think the activity we had in the trade day show that earlier today, I think sort of supports that level of interest to the level of activity within the room over that whole time really show that there is an interest and that interest would only be there if it's in the glass. And so I'm, I think the timing is very good, but it's really nice to have it here too. All right. the, um, so historically, what has this event meant to the province in general? I mean, as far as the Playhouse and the concept of it and everything. Well, the Playhouse, I think its main feature right from the get-go was a place for wineries around the world to showcase their wines in the hopes of actually getting listings and sales in British Columbia. So the strength is you could come to the show and taste wines that aren't regularly available in British Columbia to taste at all and actually purchase them in the on-site wine shop, which was a huge thing. And that still, I think, is the main focus, is to be able to taste wines that aren't regularly available in our store system. And it gives wineries a venue to actually put their wines forward, get a response back, and the, the liquor sales in the store give the LDB a, a yardstick as to whether there is a level of interest to bring those wines in. So it's a win-win situation for everybody, and it is a fundraiser for the Playhouse, um, and so people don't mind spending that extra money for that as well. No, the timing's right. The timing's right. Yeah, we... Yeah, you could, you could argue that we could have been a feature country a few years ago, but... Um, I think, I think it's appropriate that it's now. We, we have got a lot of um, excellent wines being made now. It is the year before the Olympics. There's a lot of you know, stuff going on in Vancouver, and it's okay, it's okay that it's now. Um, I, I, you know, it doesn't matter to me that we weren't just featured like this. A lot of us have been here every year anyway, and uh, I think it's great that they're here now. And so many wineries represented, and the people have just lapped it up, right? I think, oh, I think it's great. I think it's I think the time is right. Well, it's it's one of the things. There's a few there's a few things that have been done at this wine festival that have elevated it to the status that you see here now. That's one of them. I think the biggest thing that they've done is that you cannot be a winery at this show unless you bring a principle from the winery, right? So it doesn't matter whether you come from the Okanagan Valley or you come from New Zealand. You get someone from your winery has got to come to this event, right? So what wineries do is because they've invested their time in one of their senior people, they bring their top wines. Because they bring their top wines, the, the uh, uh, BC Liquor Board wants some to be available for sale. So all of those wines, which are very often the unique wines, will be available over here for sale. And it's, it's another very good feature, the LDB working with, a, working with the Wine Festival Committee, making something that adds to the whole, uh, the whole pizzazz and uh, whatnot of the festival. That's fantastic. Well, and plus, it's, uh, I mean, here you are, winemaker at Mission Hill, arguably the most prestigious winery in BC, and here you are. You're, you're here in the trenches, Corin, and yeah. answering questions. Yeah. And yeah. Well, that's what people. That's why people come. Right? They come 
they know, particularly with Okanagan wine, is they know they're going to see the winemaker. That's what they come for. They want to ask questions. They want to say, you know, I've got a bottle of 2002 Oculus. When should I drink it? And whatever, right? That's part of what brings them to the show and why it's been so successful. It would seem to me that it's is it about time or the timing is right for BC Wines to be featured at this event? Um, I think it's, we're um, uh, five years late. I think it should have happened five years ago because then what would have happened is the people that tasted the wine